Patricia Cortez did apologize for her actions inside a grocery store this summer when she didn't like a custom order cake. The judge laid down the verbal hammer, telling her she was immature and asking her to gain perspective. I apologize for my actions at Kroger. I I am truly embarrassed. Trisha Cortez pled no contest to the charge of tumultuous conduct. Today, she was sentenced to 300 hours of community service to be served at a soup kitchen or homeless shelter. But the judge did not let her go without a lesson. And that is absolutely unacceptable in a civilized society for you to be behaving that way. Police say Cortez had a meltdown inside this Bloomfield Township Kroger store in June. Witnesses say it all happened at the bakery counter. We're told she was there to pick up her son's Batman versus Superman birthday cake, but became angry when she saw how it was decorated. She allegedly went behind the counter to try and fix it herself. Still unhappy with the confection, she drop kicked the cake, smashing the dessert all over the floor. Here you are in the middle of a public place basically drop kicking a cake because you were upset and dropping the F-bomb. If I was shopping with a child, I'd be horrified. And quite frankly, I think the child would be horrified as well. This isn't the first time Cortez has reportedly lost her cool. Her attorney says she was ordered to attend anger management after a 2015 incident in Troy. In fact, she was taking those classes when this bakery incident happened. The important thing to note there is that she had only completed one anger management class. And after this incident, she completed the other seven. Did you learn anything? Yes. What did yeah. you learn? I learned that it's, it's not worth it that you really need to take time and think about things and it's okay to be angry but it's how you react when you are angry. This case may be over but she's still dealing with an assault charge in Royal Oak for this attack on an ice cream shop worker more than a year ago. The employee here says Cortez was mad because they didn't have the flavor she wanted. She's due back in court for the Royal Oak case next month. Her attorney tells us she is still facing that charge for the Royal Oak ice cream store incident. He declined to speak with us today until that case is also finished. Reporting from Bloomfield Hills, Shelley Childers, 7 Action News.